Well, here's a headline I think a lot of people found surprising. NC doesn't make tech hub lists. So the Biden administration has identified 31 areas in the U.S. as these tech hubs, and North Carolina didn't make the cut. While South Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, and Puerto Rico are among the states where cities did make the cut. Joining us to help explain what this really means for North Carolina, why it was left off that list, Dr. John Harden, an executive director on our state's Department of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, glad to be here. Yeah, so explain. Explain this list to me a little bit more closely, carefully here. Why wasn't North Carolina on this list? We're always talking about how this is an area for tech development and growth. Right. So what this means is this is a list that was developed by the U.S. Economic Development Administration as part of a grant funding opportunity. And so North Carolina, as you know, is already known as a high tech state and is a leader. And so we did apply for a tech hub. We did not receive one of those tech hubs. But all that means is we are not eligible to apply in this round for additional funding. However, there were two teams in North Carolina that received another type of award under this federal funding opportunity called strategy development grants. And those teams will receive up to $500,000 to apply in the second round. You know, this is a great example of why you should read the entire story. Don't stop at the headline. There's a lot more nuance to it. Uh, Of course, North Carolina remains a a leader in the tech category. So aside from these other grants that we're uh, that we're getting, what are some of the things that this region is doing to continue to stay at the top of the list and be a powerhouse in the tech sector, recruiting the best companies and employees here? Well, as you probably know, North Carolina for the last two years has been named the best state for business by CNBC. And one of the reasons that we've received that ranking is because we are such a high-tech state, high-tech jobs tend to pay higher than average salaries and grow faster. And so that means that creates a larger multiplier effect for the entire economy, a big spillover effect. We have a strong workforce here, strong economic development system with the North Carolina Department of Commerce and the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina. And they're firing on all cylinders right now to make sure that North Carolina stays a tech hub. All right, Dr. John Harden, we'll continue to check in with you. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you.